Hello everybody, this is Cyril from My Change in the Date. It's good to see you again. It's been a long time. I know that usually you see Maki here because, well, she's the one for public speaking and I am not. I have this hot take that I want to share with you because I just encountered some situation in my daily work. So here it is. Uh, I was observing scammers' behaviors, something I do quite often. I observe their behaviors and I can adjust our system and our rules to detect and ban them as quickly and efficiently as we can. So I was observing and I noticed this behavior from a legit member, actually, and what he was doing was quite unsafe. He was a guy. He was sending his WhatsApp number to everybody in the first message of every conversation that he was having. Literally, he was copy pasting the same message to everybody and it was something like, hi, I want to talk to you on WhatsApp. Here, here is my number. And he would give his number. And that's a bad thing to do because obviously some people you would send his number to are legit members and some people are scammers. And well, that's exactly what scammers want to get your phone number. Because uh, when a scammer makes a profile on my transgender date, and by the way, this works for any dating platform, not just my transgender date, when a scammer makes a profile on a dating platform, they know that they're going to be detected and banned quickly, more or less quickly, depending on the dating platform and their, the resources that they have and how efficient they are. So scammers know that they have like this short window of action during which they need to absolutely move their victims out of the dating app to another messaging app uh, like whatsapp or messenger or skype or, or you name it oh and by the way uh, they, they use google hangout quite often uh, for some reason cameras love to use google hangout so if somebody you meet on a dating app is asking you to talk on hangout that, that's a red flag be aware of that i can give you based on this three pieces of advice uh, that you can follow and that will help you be safe on dating apps. Uh, the first advice is that you should keep the conversation on the dating app for a while before moving it to another messaging app. Okay, let's say you're in a rush, give it 48 hours. I'm speaking for my transgender date, okay? You will be on the safe side. We are very efficient. We usually ban bad actors in a, in a matter of minutes, sometimes a matter of hours very occasionally a matter of days. The second thing you can do is try to ask for the contact details of the person you're talking to instead of giving your contact details to them. Uh, this is because scammers want to get information from you as much as they can because any information they have from you is information they can use against you. Phone number, email address, Facebook name, etc. And uh, by the way, Facebook name is the worst thing you can give to a scammer because Facebook is like a treasure chest of information about you. Like maybe not everybody, but a lot of people share so much information about themselves on Facebook. In some instances, a scammer knows your Facebook. They can find name of your friends, family members, name of your employer. Uh, they can find your home address. They can find a lot of information about you that they can use against you. So be aware of that. Third advice. This one is specific to my transgender date. Pay attention to the profile of the person you're talking to. Not just the pictures. I know a lot of people just look at the pictures, but pay attention to the rest of the profile, especially the description, especially go to the bottom of the profile. And if it's a, if it's a recent profile, you will see the date at which it was created. If you don't see the date, that means the profile is old enough that it can be considered safe. If you see the date, that means it's quite recent. Let's say if it's at least a week old, that that's a good sign. It's a, it's kind of a guarantee that the moderators had ample time to look at this profile and ensure that it is safe. Those are my three pieces of advice. Keep the conversation on the website for a while before moving it to another messaging app. Okay, 48 hours. For those of you who are really in a rush, try to ask for their contact details instead of giving yours. And pay attention to the profile and the date it was created. Uh, if it's at least one week old, it is pretty safe. Okay, if you follow these three pieces of advice, you will eliminate your risk of encountering a scammer by like 99%. As simple as this. That's all for me. I hope this helps. Uh, see you in another video. Stay well, stay safe.